everyone, Fixer here, and I'm super excited to bring you a game called Thimbleweed Park. Now, I've been looking forward to this for quite a long time. It went through Kickstarter uh, under a new studio called Terrible Toy Box. They both developed and are publishing this game, and you can get it on Steam for 20 bucks. Now, a thing about Terrible Toy Box, there's two members of this development team that I'd like to talk about. The first one is Ron Gilbert. Now, he was the writer slash director and he did art and programming for Maniac Mansion way back in the day. Maniac Mansion was on the NES and I'm sure it was on other platforms, I'm not sure what, but I played it on the NES and that's a point and click adventure game that kind of set the stage for Monkey Island to happen. And he himself was the writer and director for Monkey Island and, and he worked along with other famous people that came out of that studio like Tim Schafer and whatnot. He's largely responsible for those games, and he went on to do other games like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and of course Day of the Tentacle, which is the sequel to Maniac Mansion. And then he went on, I think, to do a lot of children's games. Uh, on the computer, that is. His most recent non-kids game was called The Cave. It came out a few years back. Um, I love his writing. I absolutely love his writing, and I'm really excited to, to see it in this game. The second guy is Gary Winnick who has worked with uh, Ron Gilbert in the past before. He also was on Maniac Mansion. He was uh, he did the art and animation, and I think he was a, a project lead, or a co-project lead, something like that. I don't remember exactly. And of course, he worked on The Secret of Monkey Island. He was the uh, art uh, department supervisor, and he did other games like Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, Loom, Day of the Tentacle, all of the point-and-click classics, right? So this is a point-and-click game. And what I'm very interested to find out about this, because point and click is kind of making a resurgence right now, it seems. And these guys are old school point and click. And some people feel the old school point and click is not aging well, because there's a lot of what people are calling moon logic in it. And I, I'm not sure I, I like the term moon logic, but that seems to be the term everybody's running with. It's more kind of like um, nonsensical logic. Stuff that doesn't make sense. A good example would be like, in Monkey Island, you you get yourself a rubber chicken at some point, and usually in these types of games, anything that goes in your inventory is useful in some way. There's nothing that's just random and useless. So you get this rubber chicken in your in your inventory, and you have it for quite a while, and you have a pulley in your inventory too, and and you don't. A lot of people don't really know what to do with them. Eventually, you realize that you can combine the rubber chicken and the pulley and you can use it on like a zip line to go to a different part of the map. And that's what people, that's moon logic. Those, no reasonable person is going to think, I know, I'll combine this rubber chicken with this pulley and make a new item. No one's going to think that. It's it's only done through basically desperation, right? You hit a, a wall and, and you're suddenly, you're, you're angry and you're like, I'm just going to click on everything and suddenly something works. That's what happens with Moon Logic, and the point and clicks are packed full of them. And it's interesting to see how these guys, who are responsible for creating that Moon Logic, how they handle a modern game where Moon Logic is frowned upon. So, I, I, from what I understand, from what I've read, this game has toned down the Moon Logic compared to the old ones. So, I'm really curious to see how the old school point and click masters are doing a new game. As far as the tone and the setting in this game, it takes place. It's a neo noir mystery that takes place in 1987, and it's more like Maniac Mansion than it is Monkey Island. In that you can control multiple people to do multiple things. Each person person has a a skill or something that they can do, uh, and you can go back and forth between them to do certain things. And you'll notice the inter interface is very Maniac Mansion like as well, very old school. Um, as far as the humor goes, if you liked the humor from Day of the Tentacle, Monkey Island, Loom, all those games, you'll probably love this as well. I know, I'm looking forward to it, that's for damn sure. Oh, there's a casual and a hard mode. If you're new to adventure games or you're looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting and there is so much to do, free tutorial included. If you're an experienced adventure gamer and you want all the puzzles because there is nothing more exciting in life, than playing adventure games. Once you choose a mode, you cannot change it without starting a new game. Okay, so I'm going with hard mode. I'm not saying that I am a professional at this, but I have played a lot of adventure games. 
And I really like, I don't know, I, I don't mind a challenge. Now, that may mean that you may see me frustrated from time to time, and I may have to do some editing. There could be a time where I walk around aimlessly clicking on things, saying angry things to the game and myself and my microphone, and I might have to edit that out. So you might see editing when it comes to this game. Hello! Interact with characters and objects here. Right. So this is just like Maniac Mansion, right? Well, actually, it's a lot like the original uh, Monkey Island, too. Text above the cursor indicates an interactive object. Right, right. I know this. Give commands to your characters by selecting verbs. Items your character has picked up are here. Simple commands start with a verb and end with an object or a character. Complex commands start with a verb, then an object, and end with another object or a character. To review or see advanced interaction tips, select options, then help. I think I'm okay. I hope I'm okay. I could be terrible at this game, we'll see. I believe we are in an amusement park. In a little town, population 81, Thimbleweed Park. The wind is so strong, it's blowing the lock. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I love it. That's the kind of humor you can expect in this game. Part one, the meeting. I got an achievement, guys. I am I am good at adventure games. Alright, the meeting of whom? With whom? I love the pixel art. Look at that parallax. It is gorgeous. Good stuff. So it's like a, a more high-res version of Maniac Mansion. But they walk very similar to I the- I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. It's got voice acting. This looks like the place. It is indeed. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. All right, let's open the gate. Look at this. This is so weird seeing a modern game with this 1980s interface. This is bizarre, but I'm okay with it. Look at no. Boris, I'm glad you decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the Trestle Trail bridge. Turn off the light above the Trestle Trail sign, so I know you have arrived. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. There's always a sewer level. There always is. Make sure you're not followed. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. All right, so so Boris, I thought you were supposed to leave that behind. It is the key card for my room. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out, and you get a pillow. Very top secret. <laughs> Those were so popular back in the days. You guys have no idea. Hilarious. Um, can I? I am not tired now, nor do I need a hug from a bear. So that you get, you do get certain kind of responses from the characters when you do certain things to objects, some of which will end up doing something important in the game, and some which won't do anything at all. Open the bear? I had better not turn it inside out now. See? So I hope you got an idea of... Oh. Well, get into that. Of, of how this game works. Okay, so... Let's talk to Willy. I'm supposed to meet someone down... Wow, this is... Bring back so many memories. I get to choose between one of the three here. I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Are you a victim of inferior American social support system? Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Uh, I need some whiskey. Okay. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? 
So I'm guessing I probably have to get whiskey for this guy, right? Sober up, sir. <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Uh oh. Wake up, sir. Okay. I have to go. Sleep well. Can I give him the bear? Um, give Pilla Bear to Willie. I'm sure this man is not the one I'm meeting, so he does not get the prototype. But he wants to sleep. Uh, okay. Um, let's go this way then. But look at that. It's got an arrow on the side. <gasps> Modern technology. Trestle Trail. Walk the sign. Okay. Um, look at sign. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park. 1.7 miles. Okay. Um, I wonder if there are hotkeys. Okay. There are. Oh, look at that. That's pretty That's pretty awesome. I got a rock now, guys. Alright, so you can't control the guy with... Can you do it with arrow keys? No. Gotta be the mouse. Alright, sorry. This is completely blind. I'm not, I did not do any I testing. I better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. Okay. I didn't think I would have an issue running the game, so I didn't do any testing. Usually, I, I test games to make sure I can I can record at 60 FPS. I'm not going to do this game at 60 FPS. I have to stay here until I finish my mission. What? Oh, can I literally pull him? No. I have to go. Sleep well. All right. So it won't let me in the gate. I need to go up to the train, though. So, so we're we're already at a point where I'm missing something. What would I have a rock for? Can I smash it on this guy's head? Let's see if I can. Use rock. That would just make a dent. <laughs> um, turn off the light above the trestle. That's what I need to do. Can I go this way? No. Oh, is that the trail behind the gates? I can't reach that. All right. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. All right. So I gotta wake this ass up. This this game is already cornered to me, right? I can't go left. I can't go right. Um. Talk to use. Use rock. No. No rock. What else could I do here? Already... What's this? Oh! Yeah, we don't need that. Do I turn the light off? Is this the light they're talking about? I thought they were talking about a light on the tracks. Oh my gosh. I do not see a way to turn it off. You can smash it with a rock. I totally thought the light was there. on the track. I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. I don't remember what step four. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. So I guess I go to the right. Cool beans. Okay, that was kind of frightening. I just got bitch slapped by a ghost. What? He, like, just popped up, slapped me in the back of the head. <laughs> That's hilarious. None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night. Was he killed? Or how much it could change us all? Was Boris the one that was killed? I don't know. I thought it was Chuck. Part two, the body. There you guys go. We're already in part two. What a bonus in one episode. Hello. Am I supposed to do something? No. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. Okay. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. 
and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Okay, so this is Agent Ray and Reyes. That's kind of funny. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. It definitely is. Body is starting to pixelate. Ray is gonna is going to get on my nerves. Hopefully she stays focused on the case and lets me do what I need to. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Okay. So, is there a way? Aha! I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. So I can control both agents by hopping back and forth, and I, I believe ultimately you get five people here. Now, this is not something that Monkey Island did. This is something that Maniac Mansion did, and if I remember correctly, there was a there was like a group of like eight kids that you got to choose from. They were all friends, I believe. I don't know if they were friends. I can't remember. It's been so long. There's a group of eight people, and you got to pick, um, I think, three of them to play for the game. You couldn't choose all of them. You had to pick a specific three. And who you cho chose changed how you beat the game. It was very clever. It was very well done. And I'm very curious if this is how it's going to work, too. All right, so let's look at my Detective stuff. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. Got into town late this afternoon. What a dump. I'll try to avoid contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it will suit my needs. Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that again. Arrived at the body. It should do just fine as my cover. I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. Oh great, some other agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the bureau had been alerted. I need to ditch him. Okay. It's a cell phone. Now these were... Just a tad rare in 1987. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. All right. It only contains one photo. Ooh, it's got a photo. Oh, I love carrying stuff. <laughs> All right, hop over to him. Use uh, film in the camera. And use camera on the corpse. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Indeed. Can I pick up the corpse? That's the coroner's job. It is indeed. Pull it. Better not. I don't want to turn the body over. That. Ugh. I feel faint. <laughs> it won't let me talk to the corpse. That's BS. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. It is indeed. All right. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. So someone took his wallet then. I'm guessing that's what we get out of that. Ugh, that's disgusting. Dead ringer for the body. Oh. Can we go over this way? All right, we can. So yes, just like a Maniac Mansion, you can... Uh, there's something odd here. Hello, look at something odd. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Yeah, walk to Chainsaw of Disappointment. Can I pick it up? I got a chainsaw of expectation. That's great. I love that the name changed. Okay. I gotta get used to using two hands. What the hell's that? Oh, that's my head. Jesus Christ. What was that? Violin music coming from the sewer? <laughs> the ghost plays the violin. All right, let's head back to her. And let's bring her over here, too. I wonder if there's an easier way to get her over here to my guy, right? 
to... What was his name? Antonio? Alright. Safety in numbers, guys. Alright. Let's look at the old tree. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. Nice observation. Drag mark. Hmm. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. Hmm. His suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. Okay, so she got that out of it. It's a cell phone. Why is shit moving in my... Oh, is it because I'm... Or I'm, I'm hovering my mouse over it. All right. So, anything else here, guys? Can we talk to Antonio? No? You don't want to? That old tree is blocking the great entrance. All right. So, let's hop over to Antonio. Use the chainsaw on the tree. I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. Of course. All right, so we share a notebook, or at least we share some notes, apparently. Gotta, gotta keep an eye out for hovering your mouse over stuff, right? All right, use chainsaw on corpse. I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. Whatever. All right, the guy's not here any longer, so let's open the gates. And let's see if, if I leave, does it take her with me? I'm guessing it does. Oh. So we're not right in town. Tuna can. Okay. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads. The good parts. Ugh. Still has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Ugh. I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand tuna. And I can't stand the smell of it either. <laughs> An Atari cartridge! They're really playing on our emotions, aren't they? Behind jaggy lines from Mucus Flem Games? <laughs> I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? I don't know which way I'm supposed to... What did that say? The Pigeon Brothers? I think it did. Hello? It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. You left your text behind there, Chief. Signals are very strong tonight. What the shit? What is this? Yeah, I'm more concerned about the pigeon part than the signal Why part. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there. But remember, signals are very strong tonight. Brothers, if you're sisters? Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. Ah. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. The signals are very strong tonight. Hilarious. Um, holy cow, this is totally... You can tell what this signals? is Ron Gilbert. The signals. The signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. Okay. So but the signals are strong tonight. <laughs> Very strong. Yeah, you almost ran over a federal agent. This is really odd. Should I save my game? <laughs> I'm going with it. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Very strong. Okay. But playing a classic adventure game has taught me to save often. It sure has. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> that was true. Up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. Interesting way to go. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. 
It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. So, past click, if, if you're new to point and click, if you're not, you would know this. If you're new to point and click, um, many games like to, to break the fourth wall. And Monkey Island did it, Maniac Mansion did it. Although it did it, it was infrequent. And it was, it was a lot more, I don't want to say it was a lot more subtle, because it, you know, the fact that it's breaking the fourth wall isn't exactly subtle, but, um, yeah, it wasn't as in your face as that was. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. <laughs> we don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Oh, for the love of God. Very strong. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Eek! Beep! Boop! Boo! Whack! Beep! Squeak! Is that all they're going to do? Oh my god. Eek! No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Um, you two are nuts. Nuts. I could really go for some salted nuts right about now. Cute. Okay. Wow. Again, this is another LucasArts thing. The the that goofy kind of dialogue. It it's just it's different when it's voice acted. What? What did I just do? Why did I go back there? That was really awkward. All right, let's let's bring our friend over here too. Oh, it's a long ways away. Watch the body be gone. We do need to send the coroner out here, you know. It's still there. All right. Let's take her up to Trestle Trail. And I guess we'll take her over to the left then. Is this gonna walk to more highway? I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. Okay. Because I want to end this episode at the town, not right before it. On it. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Um. You seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. So wow. we need to get these guys out of here then, right? Boop. Push them! Eek. Beep. Um, can I go Beep. to the van? Oh, I can go past them. Boop. I thought they were blocking me. Alright. No need. The perps are outside. Can I just Beep. walk by them then? Okay. Boop. Hold the left mouse button down to follow the cursor. Oh! That's new. Thimbleweed Cemetery. It's an empty soda bottle. So do I do this? Okay, so it looks like there's stops along the way to the town. I guess that means I should probably end the episode here if we're going to hit more spots before the town. Um, there you go. Thimbleweed Park, 20 bucks on Steam. I'm very excited to play this game. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.